Hello again, Victor here from Rescue Studio, and in today's video, we'll be doing an unboxing of a Harley Benton guitar. You already clicked on the video, so I assume you already know which one it is. So let's get it going and uh, let's open the box. This is actually my first video ever unboxing anything. So uh, let's see how it goes. And the guitar. All right, so as you can see here, it is the Harley Benton ST62 RV in Sunburst. Let's see what's inside. Oh, I actually don't have anything to cut this open with. Uh, let's just use a plectrum. There we go. And let's see the guitar. Oh, that's nicely wrapped. You also get a cable and a tremolo arm and what's that? An Allen wrench? Yeah, an Allen wrench. You get checked by quality service. Checked by 224. Whatever that means. And you even get a little sticker. Let me get this out. I'll be using that trim arm later. All right. Let's see. Actually, it looks really nice. Oh, the neck is smooth. Oh, yeah. It's a bit on the on the lighter side. The frets looks pretty decent. Frets actually look really decent. Very well done. Nice knobs. A three-piece body. I don't know if you can see that. A three-piece body. There's right there and right here. So that's to be expected though. I didn't expect the one piece body. It's a one piece neck, which is nice. Probably okay tuners. Neck feels really, really nice. Is it in tune? Actually not that bad. plays really well. Let me see if I can get that plastic off. I probably can't. Oh, that's not too bad. There's two layers of plastic on here. All right. Well, I don't even know why companies do this. Cause I mean, the scratch plate is there to get scratched. That was one layer. <laughs> Now there's a second layer for some reason. Why would you put two layers of plastic on here? I don't get that. I need to take the knobs off to get it all the way off. This is always the tedious part. All right, so the plastic is off. Already a lot of fingerprints on here, but that's also to be expected. Finish looks rather nice. Not the biggest block in the back. I don't know if you can see that up there. Not the biggest block. Uh, what does this say? Is that just a quality check? Yeah, quality check. All right. I can't wait to plug this thing in. Look at that neck as well. It's a really nice neck. It's a Palfaro neck. It almost looks roasted, but I doubt it is. Roswell pickups, volume, tone, tone. 
Flyweight toggle switch, the usual. I'm guessing it's an elder body, but I don't actually know. You should check the link in the description down below. Um, let me plug this thing in and let's get some sounds out of it. All right, so that took a bit of time, but I am ready to record some guitar for you guys now. The setup today is gonna be the ST62 running into my pedal board, running straight into my Laney Cuphead amp, which is going directly into the Torpedo Captor X, which is gonna be the guitar you're gonna be hearing. First off, let's just quickly get the trim on and get that on there. I'm not gonna be using the, uh, the jack cable in here. Um, I have my own cables. But uh, let's screw this in here and let's see if it fits. Hopefully it does. All right, so the Roswell pickup in the bridge sounds like this. I gotta say, it plays very, very well. Like, very well. There's a lot of string bus going on up here, though. But, uh, it plays very well other than that. Let's go to the second position, which is gonna be the bridge and the middle pickup. Sounds something like this. pretty good to me and the tuners are actually pretty good that surprised me as well I just tuned it like before while I was setting up the amp um, and they do the job just fine they're not too hard not too smooth they're pretty good uh, let's go to the middle position which is gonna be the metal pickup <laughs> And the fourth position, the middle and the neck pickup. Very nice, and the neck pickup.
sounds very nice, actually. The dots are centered and really well made as well. I don't feel them poking out of the fretboard, so that's nice. For the price, this instrument feels insane. Uh, let's try some overdrive on there. Let me put on my OCD and back to the bridge pickup, and this is what that sounds like. <laughs> is so nice to play so nice to play the radius the radius is I don't know if it's flat it doesn't look flat it is a bit flat from what I'm used to but I kind of dig it it's really nice <laughs> Alright, so the second position, the bridge and the middle pickup with the OCD on. position. fourth position which is going to be the middle and the neck pickup <laughs> Sounds very nice. And then to my favorite, the neck pickup. Thank you. 
All right, let's see if the tone control works. That is usually what I want on my S-type guitars. And it does. Still works. And on the third position, I think it's this one. And here on the second position. Nothing on the bridge position though. I don't know why you route it that way, but it's industry standard, so I suppose some people know what they're doing. Anyway, let's try out the trem system. Let's see if it stays in tune after a bit of torture. Let's get some OCD on it. Very not set up for using this right now. It's so stiff. Yeah, that needs a setup, otherwise I won't be able to use that. But that's an easy fix, that's just some screws in the back. So, in another video, you'll probably get to hear that. I am planning to do a blindfold shootout with all the S-types we have in the studio with my good friend Anas. Come back later for that if you want to see that. All right, guys, I think that does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me to the end. Of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll get back to as many as I can. Uh, this video was not sponsored, or at least it was not paid for. Uh, I did receive the Harley Benton guitar from Harley Benton, and I'm going to keep playing this for a while. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. See you later, guys.